Hello, my name is John Lipscomb and today I'm going to show you how to register for MFR MLS classes using the GoForIt portal. You want to make sure you start off at MFRlogin.com. Now when you go to MFRlogin.com it's going to ask you to log in with your username which is going to be your MLS ID or your nerds number and your password. Now once you've logged into the dashboard you will be met with a bunch of options you will see you have a bunch of buttons in front of you when you first log in. What we're looking for to register for class, this is going to be the class registration link. It should be right up here in the top. Now we use what's called single sign-on. So once you log into the system once at mfrlogin.com, you don't have a separate login and password for a lot of our products and services. Uh, but today we're going to focus here on the class registration link. Now this is something you can do yourself. You don't have to call the call center. You don't have to reach out to your association. You can actually register for any MFR MLS class at any time, uh, whenever you want, 24 hours a day. All of the MFR MLS classes are provided. Uh, they're all uh, available to you uh, as many times as you want, wherever you want. You can take them at any location, maybe if you're willing to drive a little bit. They don't cost you anything. So what you want to do is you want to click on the class registration link here. Now it's going to take a moment. Once you get in here, you want to click on the class registration link. It is going to take a moment to load because it's actually taking all of our current classes and loading a live database for you. So just give it a second. Okay, and we have loaded up the Gopher portal. It takes about a minute or so. You got to give it a second to load up. Now, when you come in here by default, you're actually going to see the entire class list right, uh, right in front of you right here. So we can see all these classes. They're all sorted by date here. We can go in and look, see the classes on the screen itself. You can click on the class itself, get the description and a little pop-up window. Uh, it will tell you what the class covers. So you can get the descriptions at any time. Click on the close button when you're done. You can see the location that includes the address the start date and the start time, so the, the time that class starts, how long the class is, how many seats are currently available, the instructor that's teaching the class, and you'll register for the classes by clicking on the register button here to the right. So the different ways you can sort these classes are gonna be by class name. So when I click on the drop down here, I can pick any of my classes that I wanna take, and it will show me when that class is available. So today, let's say we wanted to take our uh, MLS basic class. That's the one of the required classes. When we click on basic here, that's one way I can sort it. Now I can also sort that by location. So let's say uh, we wanna take uh, the class at, uh, let's say, Orlando. Okay, so here's the location and the address. And uh, right now, I'm actually just going to go ahead and click on search because I want to see the upcoming MLS basic classes at this particular location. So when I click on search, this is going to allow me to sort everything. Okay, so we got classes scheduled all the way for the next few months. We can see when they're available here. Now, if I wanted to, I could actually sort it based on uh, a time frame. So it will actually show you the dates that that particular class is available. I can sort it by instructor. Okay. I can reset the filters at any time. So when I come in here, let's say I want to take a class, uh, let's say the 29th. So I'm going to take a class on June 29th. Uh, I can sort it by instructor. All of our instructors are here. I click on search. That's another way you can sort it. So however you want to locate the class, via the class name, location, date the class that it's taught, and the instructor. You can filter these different ways. Reset at any time. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, register for that class. So I'm going to say I want to take a class in Orlando or Tampa or Pinellas, wherever you want to take it. I click on location. I'm going to take that MLS basic class. So here's the one I want to take. Looks like plenty of seats are available. Excellent. Tomorrow's going to be teaching in this class. Great. I'm going to click on register because this is how I actually go in and get my class. So I can read the description. Make sure you do this. It'll give you any of the specifics here. And once I do that, I'm going to click on enroll in class. 
Okay, it's going to make you confirm it. So yes, I want to roll in, enroll in this class. It's going to take a moment, process it here. All right, now that I've gone ahead and confirmed that, you will see a screen will come up. Okay. So you have three tabs, your current enrollment, the full Keller's catalog, and your class history. Now at any time, if, it, if something comes up and you're unable to take the class, make sure you come back here and cancel this. Uh, that will open up a seat in case somebody else wants to take the class. So you can always check your current enrollment at any time. But at this point, you should be emailed a confirmation uh, that you have registered for the class. At this point, you'd want to show up on this date at this time. Uh, there will be a sign-in sheet when you take the class. Make sure you sign in to every single class you take. Even if there are three classes a day, every single class has its own sign-in sheet. Make sure you do that. And uh, the MLS instructor will actually go ahead and give the class to you. And after they do the attendance for a class, you will be emailed a confirmation that you completed the course. Now, you will be able to see all of your class history right here if you click on the class history tab. And it will show you the date that you took the class and then if you were marked as attended, yes or no. And that's it. That's how you register for a class. When you're done here, you click on sign out and then you are done. Okay, so thanks for watching the video. Make sure you start at MFRlogin.com. If you have any issues registering for classes, reach out to the call center. They are available to you every day, Monday through Friday, 730 to 7, Saturday 8 to 6, Sunday 9 to 2. Uh, you can reach out to them. They can assist you with getting your class registered. Uh, make sure you try to at least register yourself first. But if you can't have a, if you have an issue with that, they'll be more than happy to get you registered for any desired class you'd like to take.